There's a lot of smoke coming out of that barrel it thing. Like it's starting up. Wait, wait, no, 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 we don't want an autopilot. Why is it moving? What do you mean it's moving? Uh, I don't want to be in here. Jake? Yeah? You can see your body. This is where the aliens come. These are all little baby aliens, Jake, Logan. We be could be having a million baby aliens. Oh my God. There's smoke in your chamber. Jake! Jake, you hear me? Logan, guys, what happened? Uh, Logan, Logan, wake up. Logan, wake up. What happened? I don't know, we, we fell asleep on the alien spaceship. We gotta get out of here. I don't know how long we've been asleep. The door's still locked. We can't go through that way. They must have used some sort of chemical in that smoke to put us to sleep. The last thing I know that the ship was taking off. Logan, I think, I think we've taken off. Why when I look up, I can see clouds? It must be simulated. To simulate real world. So you don't get too claustrophobic in long-term space travel. Hold on, let me see if the controls work. No, they're still locked out. Oh no, this isn't good. Logan, we need to get out of here. Jake, you're telling me that we're stuck inside of an alien spaceship. At the moment, it might look like we are stuck inside an alien spaceship. And to be perfectly honest with you, I can't tell you if we are on Earth or not. Hold on, wait, I got an idea. Good news is my phone is 100% uh, charged. The bad news? Uh, there's no cell service. Which might mean we are in intergalactic space travel, but that is only a theory, so don't freak out. And if we are traveling in an alien spaceship, that doesn't necessarily mean that we're alone. Jake, what are we gonna do now? Let's see if we can find some way out of here. There's gotta be another section to the ship. Maybe we can find a way to get this thing turned around and back to Earth. What do we do about these eggs? Well, we don't want any more aliens growing in here, so for now, squish any eggs you find. Here, this control panel here. Tell me if it does anything. Anything happening? Did you hear that? It sounded like something opened. Jake, it sounded like it came from over here. It sounded like a door. If you are watching this, if you are getting this feed from wherever we are in the universe, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that like button. In fact, destroy that like button because we are currently on an alien spaceship. And I don't know where we are, and to be quite honest with you, I'd rather be at home playing Xbox than having to fight aliens. And Jake, don't forget about the squad. All you gotta do is hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and comment hashtag squad, and we'll give one of the squad members a shout out at the end of the video. Yes, Logan, okay, I'm very hyped about squad, and I can't say squad without screaming but we are currently on an alien spaceship so there's no time for screaming or squad right now we got to figure out where that noise came from maybe I can use this looks like some sort of advanced blaster uh, let's see if this does something I'm gonna shoot it towards this direction best case it opens up a hole and we go through worst case it opens up a hole in the spaceship and we fly through into space doesn't sound like a very good plan Jake all right stand back in three two one hope I know what I'm doing Gee, it worked. Ow. I think I landed on an alien egg. Yeah, okay, I landed on an alien egg. It looks like a door, it must be to the rest of the ship. It's small though. All right, grab your gear and grab your weapons. I think we might have to take off our bigger equipment though. I don't think we're fitting through this one with all this on. Follow my lead. Whoa, guys, check this out. Looks like it's the rest of the alien spaceship. Uh, Jake, this thing is a lot bigger than we thought. Yeah, what are these things, Jake? Also, Logan, be careful. I don't know if we're alone. There could be a lot more aliens in this ship. All right, we don't know how many aliens are on this ship, guys. And we don't exactly know where we are. I mean, we could be literally anywhere in the galaxy. Jake, we also don't know if aliens are here. We gotta keep it down. It's true. Also, we could just be in Idaho. I don't think you get cell service in Idaho. Okay, but that's besides the point, Logan. Look, all right, keep a low profile. Keep your weapon raised at all times. We're gonna figure out a way to get out of here and get home. Looks like there's some sort of door here. Come on. Hey, look, it's like another control panel, guys. It looks exactly like from the main room. Maybe I can use it to control the ship. Jake, last time you used the controls, bad things happened. Okay, okay, well maybe this time I can figure it out. I mean, there's not exactly a window or anything, but maybe you just uh, take me to Earth. Oh, that, didn't, that didn't work. Jake, what just happened? I think I pressed the button, hold on. Let me see if I can get the lights back on. Whoa, 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 something's happening. Uh, okay. It looks like it's the schematic of the ship. That must be the circular part that we came in. So we followed in through here. So I'm guessing we're in this command module right here. So this must be the primary command module. This is probably what controls the whole ship. Where are the aliens? I don't know where the aliens are, Logan, but the fact of the matter is that this is probably our way home. We're just gonna have to figure out how to use this thing. Well, I don't exactly know what to do right now. Let's keep moving through the ship, come on. 
There's gotta be something in here to help us get out. All this future tech and there's no power? It was damaged. Maybe that's why they landed here. Oh, Jake. No, we got an alien. Maybe, maybe, maybe they're nice. Maybe they're friendly aliens. Let's just, before I shoot them, why don't we go talk to them? Uh, excuse me, sir. <laughs> oh, okay. Jake, oh, what is that thing? I don't know. I don't know exactly. Yeah, we're, we're, we are, we are humans. <laughs> And we come from Earth, and we just want we want to we want to go home. We came in your ship. We don't know if you you don't like us or what's going on. Just just stay right there. I don't want to hurt you. What's that? Oh, he's got a weapon. Jake, Jake, I think he was just trying to give us something. I got him. Okay, so at least we now know that there are other aliens on this ship. We are not alone. Jake, we don't know if they're friendly or not. I think that guy was just trying to like give you something. Of course they're not friendly. They're aliens. Look, he's trying to give me one of these. Jake, it looks like something you put Kool-Aid in. Yeah, Logan, alien Kool-Aid poisoned with alien things. No. From now on, we see an alien, we take him out. If we want to get home, it's the only way. That looks weird. Feels like water. Hey, look. I think it's nuts. Oh, Jake, don't eat that. It's an almond. Dude, I haven't eaten since we got locked up in the ship. Oh, I find an almond. I'm eating the almond. Uh, Logan, I'm, I feel kind of funny. I feel kind of funny. What do you mean you feel kind of funny, Jake? I don't know. Something just feels weird. Uh, Jake? What? What's on your ear? What do you mean my ears? Oh, Logan, what's wrong with my ears? Jake, you have alien ears. You mean I have alien ears? Why did you eat that I stuff? don't know. I didn't know it was going to do this to me. I don't know. I have an allergic reaction to alien almonds that give me ears. How do I get the ears off? Logan, you're going to need to cut my ear off. No, maybe, maybe you eat that, that stuff. I'm not eating anything else. I don't want anything else to change. Next thing I know, I'm going to have a nose the size of a submarine. What do you do for allergic reactions? You got Benadryl on you? No, Jake, we don't have Benadryl. Okay, okay, uh, just calm down. I mean, maybe this isn't the worst part. Worst case, I'm turning into an alien, which could be actually kind of cool. What's this? That doesn't look too nice. Whoa. Dude, check it out. Is that snow? Look at it, it's like Christmas! Maybe that's why they were coming to Earth. Okay, well, I mean, worst case scenario, Logan, if we're on here all the way till Christmas, at least we know we got some real snow. I am not gonna be here until Christmas. Guys, we need to get off the ship now. You think if I drink this, it'll help me or make me worse? Guys, do you think I should drink the green juice? Let me know down below if you would drink the green juice, because I'm kind of curious. It looks very good, Logan, and I am quite thirsty. Jake, I think we need to take a look around and see if there's any way of getting off this ship. Whoa, Logan, check this out. It's like the eggs we saw. You think this is some sort of mama alien? Those are eggs. This must be where they grow their eggs. Maybe this is like a hatchery. This is where the aliens come. These are all little baby aliens, Jake, Logan. We alien. could be having a million baby aliens. I got <laughs> baby aliens on me. They're on me. They're getting on me. They're spiders, Logan. They're crawling on me. Ah. Hopefully it takes a long time for baby aliens to grow because there is a lot of baby aliens in that hey, Jake, exact thing. Time out. You need a time out. You sit there. I'm gonna look around for a bit. Looks like. We have a little, and this is a bed. Like I said, this is a laboratory. Maybe a medical bay or maybe a hatchery. Maybe this can help with my ears. Lie on it like so. Uh-oh. Logan? Why is it moving? What do you mean it's moving? Oh, Logan, I don't want to be in here. Logan, what am I doing in here? Wait, Jake, Jake, lights just turned on. Is it some sort of alien microwave? I got a microwave me, Logan. Hey, Jake, I'm turning it detected. Human. Beginning full body scan for any abnormalities. Doctor, please put on surgical eye vision mask. I think they want me to put these goggles I, on. I think you should not put the goggles on, Logan. Okay. I think that's the opposite of what you should be doing. They right want now. me to put on the goggles. No, do not put on the goggles, Logan. You don't know what you're doing. It said Dr. Logan. Unless I'm wrong, you ain't a doctor. Have I heard reading once say Dr. Logan? No. Uh, Jake, I think the goggles need to go on. Jake? Yeah? I can see your body. Like I can see your brain and what you're thinking. I don't like that. Don't stop, stop reading my brain. Jake, it's really cool. Jake, it says here that you're gonna catch a cold in two weeks. It's like predicting the future. Wait, I can delete it. Oh, I can. That's actually pretty good, Logan. That's gonna work a lot better than me having a cold in two weeks. But that doesn't fix the fact that I'm stuck in some alien machine. Hey, hold on a sec, Jake. I see your oh, ears. I knew it. I knew it. I, I can remove your work. alien ears. Wait, what? You get the yeah. alien ears? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get them off. And there, we should have your ears back to normal. I thought something happened. Objection, patient. Check Check your ears are better. They are. I think it actually worked. Oh, this is like a pretty cool doctor's lab. I need to get one of these for my bedroom. No, I'm not gonna have a cold in two weeks. Okay, well, Jake, we need to get moving. You made a lot of noise, and and I don't know when these things are gonna hatch. Let's go back out. There's plenty more of the ship to explore. All right, guys. Well, let's keep moving. Let's see what else is in the ship. 
Also, remember, if you guys see anything in here or have any ideas on how we can escape or get this spaceship back to Earth, let us know, because there might be something we're missing. So far, this room was definitely the craziest room in this spaceship, Jake. Hold on, there's a door here. Dude, check this place out. This is unreal. Jake, what is oh. this place? I think I know exactly what this is. I think this is some sort of cryogenic sleep pod. Yeah, this must be what they use for deep travel. Well, I call the sleep pod tonight. If we're sleeping in the alien ship tonight, Logan, I'm getting in the sleep pod. Go, go for it, Jake. You know, I'm not that interested in testing new alien science. When we were in the medical bay, they were talking English and they referred to me as a human. Do you think the ship is advanced enough to conform to whatever species we are? I mean, yeah, I guess that's what's been happening. H hello? hello? Ship? Sleep pod room activated. Please use timer on side of wall to set sleeping conditions. Oh, I gotta try this. Oh, hold on. Uh, Jake, that, that, this might not be a good idea. <laughs> oh, it's always a good idea to try sleeping pods, Logan. Guys, sometimes I don't know what Jake is thinking. Yeah, close the door. Hey, I can even see you. There's a little window. Hey, guys. All right. Sleeping pod selected. Five minutes activated. Logan, oh, something's happening here. Jake, what's going on? I don't exactly know. I don't feel tired yet. Oh, something. Enjoy your sleep. Ah, uh, Jake. There's smoke in your hey, chamber. Smoke. This looks kind of scary. Jake? Jake? Jake, are you in there? Jake? The door's locked. Jake? Jake, do you hear me? Oh, the computer did say sleep pod set to five minutes. So maybe I just have to wait here for five minutes. <whistles> Sleeping pod concluded. Re-engaging now. The sleep pod's done. Jake? <laughs> Jake? <coughs> How many years has it been? Jake, it's... What year is it? What do you mean, what year is it? You were gone for like five minutes. Five, five minutes? That's the deepest sleep I thought I slept for a hundred thousand years! It was just five minutes. Talking about power naps, that's not, not too bad. You gotta try that thing. Glad you got a nice little power nap in, but Jake, we are still on an alien ship and we still need to figure out how we can get out. All right, well, first things first, Logan. Probably most important. I need to find some food. Because I just took a nap and I am starving. You said that you saw a kitchen, right? Yeah, I did see two plates and two glasses. It was kind of weird. I mean, if it conforms to whatever species we are, it's got to have our own food. Into the kitchen. I think this is the kitchen. <sighs> All right, what yummy food does this spaceship have? I mean, if they got top-notch medical care, Logan, and an awesome sleeping pod, they got to have good food. Got to admit, I am starving. Looks like this is uh, some sort of futuristic alien vending machine. Hello, humans. Please select from our fine collection of human delicacies. Simply take out the feeding tube that you desire and receive food below. Okay. Well, I, I, I guess this, this is our food. You just pull it out of here? Dude, it's cool. It's like one of our MREs. I mean, it must be fully... Jake, I'm not eating that. Logan, that don't look like food. Maybe, maybe it's it's so futuristic. It's like a full burger meal that's been that's been packed into into Jake, this. I'm not eating that. Did at least yours just blue? I'm not eating this either. Okay, Jake. Well, hold on, Logan. Don't knock it till you try it. Let's see what this looks like. Maybe it magically turns into a bur. That's not turning into a burger. That just looks like slime. Well, Jake, it's safe to say I am not eating that or this. Uh, um, okay, hold on, but it also said get your food from the bottom. Maybe that's where the good stuff is. Maybe this is just, I don't know. Check it out. Jake. The little food containers. Now this looks like food. We gotta trust this place. They had a sleeping pod that worked and a medical bay that cured me of a cold and ears. Maybe, maybe, I, I you know what? I know exactly how this works, Logan. You make your own food. This is a patty, it's red, it's the meat. This is the bun. Bun on the top. This is probably the, the bottom of burgers because they're normally brown. And there you go. And then this must be the activator. This is what activates it and turns it into a freshly cooked McDonald's hamburger that you can now enjoy and eat. Jake, that don't look like a hamburger. Yeah, that does not look like a hamburger. Why don't you eat it, Logan, and tell me how it tastes. Like as good as this looks, I'm sorry, I can't risk eating it. Okay, so uh, we're going hungry on this one. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, okay, all right, well, well, thanks for nothing, alien vending machine. Just another reason, Jake, why we need to get out of here. We do need to get out of here. Well, that nap really made me tired. So I have an extremely amazing plan. I say 
we go to bed. I don't know what time it is on Earth, but it's definitely nighttime somewhere on Earth. And then when we wake up, we'll be full and fresh, and we'll be able to solve the mystery as to how to get out of here. Maybe I'll learn the controls. Maybe I'll learn how to speak alien. I don't know what I can do with a well-rested brain, but Logan, you know they say eight hours of sleep is extremely important to me. I really want to get out of here. Okay, we'll figure that out tomorrow, all right? Let's try and get some rest and also keep it down. We've already seen an alien on the spaceship. We don't know how many more there could be. And if that schematic's correct, this ship is extremely large. We're just lucky there's no aliens in this sector. Just what I want, to sleep on an alien ship. Jake, what are you doing? I think I'm realizing, Logan, that maybe the reason this doesn't work is we don't have a key. Maybe if we had a key, it would turn on like all the other systems and then we could just say, hey, go home, go home to Earth. What does this do? Whoa. Jake, what's that? I don't know. Uh, uh, Logan, I think that's a hologram. I think we're, 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 we're alien FaceTiming right now. Uh, uh, Mr. Alien, sir, we are from Earth. We are, we are here on your ship because, um, we accidentally came in your ship and we want to go back to Earth. Uh, uh Logan, he is sounding a little angry. Jake, I think I'm just gonna go out of bed. See ya. Uh, okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Alien. Uh, bye, I uh, love you. Good night. Well, uh, we might have alerted the captain of this entire ship that we are on it, and he uh, did not sound like he was welcoming us to a nice dinner. So why don't we get back into the skate pod room, shut the door, and go to sleep and figure this all out in the morning. I think with a fresh mind and eight hours of sleep on our bodies, we'll be able to escape from this ship tomorrow. You go find your sleeping pod, I'll get in my sleeping pod. Now remember, set your timer to eight hours, okay? Sleeping pod activated. Setting time to eight million years. Uh, no, 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 not eight million years. No, not eight, eight, eight hours, eight hours. Setting time to eight hours. Okay, all right, yeah, let's go. The last thing we want to do is go to sleep for eight million years. Yeah, that wouldn't be too great. Okay, I'll see you in the morning. Go down the hall, there should be another sleeping pod. I know it looks bad and I know it looks like we're trapped in an alien ship, but don't forget to smack that like button and hit that subscribe button. And of course, if you want to help us escape, comment down below on how you think we should do it. All right guys, well thanks for watching. This has been Papa Jake. I'll see you guys in the... Uh